Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The one common weapon system of Indian Armed Forces attack helicopter is 70mm rockets beat Rudra, the armed version of LH or Prashant, the light combat helicopter. Both are integrated with FZ-231 70mm rocket pods by Thales. Each of these rocket pods can carry 12 70mm guided or unguided rockets. These helicopters can carry four such pods with them and in total 48 rockets. The laser guided rockets which can be fired is FC-275 LGR and it uses semi-active laser for guidance. This missile fills the gap between long range high value missiles and short range guns or cannons and unguided rockets thus affording a full range of precision effect from a platform to defeat soft and light armor targets. The rocket has a maximum range of 7 km with circular error probability of 1 meter at 6 km range. It has mass of 12.7 kg with a warhead of 4.1 kg. This rocket can be used against soft and light armored vehicles, soft bunkers, air defense facilities and radar sites. On 14th Feb 2023, Thales and Bharat Dynamics Limited signed a Memorandum of Understanding for setting up facilities in India for precision strike 70mm laser guided rocket which is FC-275 LGR. This agreement will also provide opportunity for BDL to offer a make in India 70mm laser guided rocket solution for existing helicopter fleet of ALH Rudra and light combat helicopter Pachan of Indian Armed Forces. On 26 June 2024, the Thales Group has announced a partnership with Adani Defense for the manufacturing of 70mm rockets in India. So this is a, another significant achievement and it will add another arsenal on weapons to the Adani Defense portfolio which it will be making under transfer of technology in India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.